All right, so I think we're on like part 14. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you'll see in the title what part we're on. Today we're going to continue on if you watched the last video, and I recommend you do, because if not, you're probably pretty confused. And really, if you want to earn, yeah, if you want to learn Angular, I went ahead and went through the whole Angular Tour of Heroes tutorial. And well, not, not quite whole, because actually we were on part six, and I said this is kind of lame making a fake, I guess, API that we're calling in our Angular app. And I said, why not use Flask and Python, create a quick little API website, and we'll use that to retrieve our data. So I thought that was more fun. And I think you will learn more, hopefully, uh, this way, because we're actually using um, an API and we're creating an API in Python. So maybe you don't care about that. Uh, if not, this probably isn't for you, but I thought this would be more fun. So that's what we're doing. And I have a whole playlist with all the Angular Tour of Heroes. We got 66 views on this playlist already. That's pretty awesome. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. I am no like expert in programming by any means, as you'll probably notice in my videos. But really, all this channel is is me trying to get better and sharing with you. And hopefully you get better. And we both benefit that way. So if that sounds interesting... Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And today we're going to, let's revisit our Angular application. Maybe we should just run it. So let me CD to the project again and just serve it up and open it. And if you remember where we left off, we are getting the heroes and that works fine because it retrieves them all from our Flask web application. Um, but the get hero with the detail component, it doesn't really work with the API yet. It actually grabs, yeah, here's the app. It actually grabs a hero and it finds it from our hard-coded heroes that's in our mock heroes TypeScript right now. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to fix this and use an API to pretty much do what this is doing, except at the end, it'll have another slash and then the ID of the hero. And then the API will send just that hero to this app. And you might say, well, why don't you just grab all of the heroes, do it the same way here, and then use this find to grab the one you want specifically from this collection here. And we could definitely do that. Um, I thought this would be more, I don't know, more fun maybe. And this is me improvising. Actually, usually before the tutorial videos that I make, I do it on my laptop just to make sure everything works before I go ahead and make a video on it. I haven't done this part yet, and I thought this would be fun just to do together. So let's do that. Um, I guess the first thing we want to do is we want to go back to our Flask application. And if you don't care about any of this and you just want to run it and make the change in Angular, I will have the GitHub repository link in the description. You can just grab this, uh, this Python script and just run it. But let's add to this and let's add another route. I was looking on how do we grab the slash and then some kind of value in Flask. And uh, this pythonbasics.org just says we can put this ID in these angle braces here and then pass it into the uh, function that we write right below the route and use it that way. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And right now the route, if we click a hero and notice it's not getting any heroes because we don't have this running. So let's pull up this terminal and let's just run this. And now let's go refresh and see all the heroes. So if we could click a hero, you can see the path is slash detail and then slash the ID, right? So let's go back to our flask and let's make another route. So this one's gonna be at app.route. And then it's going to be slash detail. Jeez, can't type again. If anyone wants to give me like a Mavis Beacon typing class as like a, a thank you or whatever, a gift. Please do. I could probably use it. My uh, grandparents used that, I remember, back in the day. So in the angle braces, if I follow this correctly, we can just put ID like this. Let me look at this again and make sure that seems correct. Yeah, they just put it in the angle braces. That sounds right to me. And we can say what kind of methods are available with this route. And for us, it's just going to be get, right? I can do without all of these pop-ups. 
VS Code, thank you. So let's make a definition and let's call it, I guess, detail. And then we can go ahead and pass in an ID, which will be this part right here. And I guess I gotta think about how I wanna do this. So I think I'm just going to loop through this list of dictionary objects and just see, okay, is the ID equal to this ID? If so, let's just return the JSONify of this dictionary object. I think that'll work. There might be a better way than just looping through everything, but right now I can't think of anything. So let's just say for X in all heroes, so it's gonna loop through. We can say if X and then ID is equal to ID. And I'm wondering if this will come in, this ID as a string or as a number. So just in case, I'm going to turn this into an integer um, so we can compare and make sure that doesn't fail, hopefully. And if it is equal to the ID, we can return the JSONify of X, right? I think this will work, and I think it'll be the same format as we expect. Um, and then, let's say it doesn't find it, let's just return zero, I don't know, or maybe 400. So let's see if this works. Let's go back to our Angular app. And really, I am just going to copy this and we're going to augment it a bit and paste it right here in the get hero with the ID. And the URL, instead of heroes, it's going to be detail and then slash. And then we can add on and we can add on the ID dot to string because I'm pretty sure uh, it will err on us if we try to tack on a number. I could be wrong. And then instead of a hero ray that we're expecting to return, we're just gonna return a hero. And then instead of heroes, I'm going to name this hero. So we'll say hero is equal to this.http client dot get a hero object. And this is the URL with the ID tacked on to the end. I think this makes sense. And let's change up the message a bit. The hero service fetched hero with ID of, and then we can just do ID dot to string again. And then at the end, return hero. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this ends up working. Um, let me bring back over the app. We will refresh this and it did not. Why did it not? All right, so after some digging, uh, that, that failed. And uh, stupid me, I put the casting in the wrong ID. So now I wonder if that's what is causing this to not run. Yeah, okay. So what I did just to verify is I went to the Flask web app URL here, and then detail on an 11, and here is the JSON that we get back. So that looks correct. Let me go back and just take all these print statements out. This is debugging 101 for me. How do I figure out what's going on? I just print everything that's going on. And I changed uh, the 400 to hello. I don't know why. Um, hopefully it'll never return that because it should just return a valid ID unless the user in the URL puts in something. And if we wanted to, we could uh, do something about that make an exception. Maybe we'll do that in the next video, who knows. But in the meantime, it looks like it now works. So I have detail of 11, and if we refresh, it sees it gets that with Dr. Nice, which is the right hero. So let's go back to the heroes, and let's click on Dr. IQ here. The ID is 18, goes to the detail slash 18, and gets us the right stuff, I guess, that we need about that hero. So. I guess there's two ways you could have done this. There was the way that I mentioned at the beginning where we just get all of the heroes and then we use that find like we had before and just parse it from the collection of heroes if the ID is equal to the one in the URL. But I made my own uh, endpoint just for this specific case and it's up to you. You can do it either way. I thought it would be more fun if we just made another route in our API. And like I said, if you want to follow along and uh, maybe in the next video, we'll talk about post. So if I make a change on the hero name here, how do I post that 
to the API that change. And then let's see if we are able to change the um, data and this hard-coded all heroes right here. Notice we're not using a database. That would be preferred. <laughs> you know, you're not going to see any production application that actually does something like this. And maybe, you know, someday in the future, we'll do just that. We'll get a nice light SQLite database, throw all this stuff in here or in there and make the change that way and just call the uh, call the database and then use the API to send the values back and forth and, and you know, the whole kit and caboodle. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this was enjoyable and it was fun for me. I hope to see you in the next one as always and take care.